Hey, what's up guys? Mary from Vast Ocean here. And today I want to take you through our top 10 list of the cleanup crew for your saltwater aquarium. Coming in at number 10, we have the Serpent Sea Star. The Serpent Sea Star uh, is going to look like an octopus and is going to be perfect for cleaning up any residue from the fish food that your fish may leave behind. Coming in at number nine, we have the conch snail. The conch snail is going to be a perfect addition to your aquarium. Now, when this little guy pops out, you're going to notice that he has a little bit of a trunk on him, which some may compare him to looking like an elephant. And this guy is going to be great for turning over any sand in your tank when he burrows and for eating that algae. Coming in at number eight, we have the emerald crab. This little guy is going to get his name from his emerald color and he's going to be perfect for eating any of that bubble algae that may form inside your tank. Number seven on our list is going to be the blue legged hermit crab. The blue legged hermit crab is going to be perfect for eating any of that cyanobacteria that's going to form inside your tank. At number six on our list, we have the scarlet hermit crab. The scarlet hermit crab is going to get its name from its scarlet color and it's also going to feature some yellow eyes. The scarlet hermit crab is going to be perfect for eating any of that hair algae that's forming in your tank. At number five, we're going to put in the tuxedo urchin. The tuxedo urchin is a small urchin, so it won't bulldoze any of the rocks that are inside your tank. However, this guy is going to be great for eating algae, but keep in mind, it will also eat the coralline algae that's going to be in your aquarium. Coming in at number four, we have the trochus snail. The trochus snail is one of the only snails that can slip itself back over once it's gotten upside down in your tank. The only downside about these guys though is that they may get burnt out after a while once they finish up eating all that algae in your aquarium. Alrighty, we've reached our top three ladies and gentlemen. Coming in at number three, we have the Nasterius snail. The Nasterius snail may be called the zombie snail by some people because just like a zombie, it will rise from the sands every time that smells food, which will make it perfect for eating any of that leftover food that your fish may have left behind in your aquarium. At number two, we have the Astria snail, which is going to be perfect for cleaning up any of that glass and uh, rocks that may have formed algae in your tank. The only downside to these guys is that they don't necessarily like to climb over sand, so when you place in your snail, make sure that you do place it on a rock or near the glass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at the number one spot is the Mexican turbo snail. The Mexican turbo snail is quite similar to the Astrea snail, except only better. The Mexican turbo snail is larger and faster. And on top of that, it'll also eat the hair algae that's in your tank. Due to its longevity and its efficiency, that's the reason why it's coming in at number one on our vast ocean cleanup crew top 10 list. Now, don't forget to ring that bell, drop a like, and smash that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to check out www.vastoceaninc.com for any aquarium needs that you guys may have. And as always, stay swimmy, guys.